Hey yogis, welcome to this yoga hit series. Today is all about the core, and if you know me, you know I love the core. Um, as always, your body, your practice, please modify as much as you need to. Yoga shouldn't be painful, so if anything causes pain, please ease off or stop. This is a dynamic series, so please take as many breaks and pauses as you need. Child's pose is always there for you. Make sure, sure there's lots of space around your mat. Grab yourself a block and go meet me on the mat for the warm up. Okay, let's get going with the warm up. Come down onto your backs if you know. The practice that I usually do, we're starting with bridge to fire up those glutes and then we're gonna do some core to fire up the core because then we're gonna move with so much more strength and stability. But before we begin, bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart and close your eyes. And let's find some grounding with three deep breaths. In inhaling, exhaling through the nose. As you breathe in, feel the belly expand, feel the chest expand. And as you exhale, feel everything melt back to your center. Inhale, creating space. Exhale, letting go. Last time, big breath in. And then exhale, slowly side out through the mouth. Release. Bring your hands into prayer. For abs, start to rub your palms together. Create some heat between the palms. Big breath in. Exhale, bring that heat onto your heart, set a little intention for your practice day, or maybe dedicate your practice to someone you love, someone that makes you stronger. And then blink your eyes open and let's go. Bring your feet about hands distance in from your body. Give your glutes a little bit of a poke, check they're not snoozing. And then as you exhale, lift up, draw the ribs in. So I don't want you to come into a back bend, I want those ribs to draw in. So you're drawing a line of energy from your knees all the way to your shoulders. Reach up with the fingers, take hold of those right fingers, breathe into the right side wrist. Opening up through the forearm, opening up through the wrist. Connect to your breath. Trying to breathe in and out through the nose if you can, maybe using your ujjayi breath if you practice with it. Then taking hold of the left fingers, taking a few slow deep breaths here. Keep your brain in your glutes, check they're firing, grounding through the feet, lifting through the arches. And then you're gonna reach your hands up, make fists, make stars, fists and stars. This is the one, the one that starts okay. And then within about 10 seconds, everything starts to, <laughs> you start to feel it. I can feel it already. So keep those glutes firing, keep those ribs drawing in as you make your fist and your stars and your forearms very much say hello. You're gonna do this for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly come down piece by piece. You can circle your wrists out if that feels good. And let's say hello to the core straight away. So grab a block and place the block in between your knees on the widest setting. Your knees are gonna be over your hips. Your hands come behind your head, basket them around your head. As you inhale, elbows come in. As you exhale, lift up. Now push back with your head into your hands so you know you're not tugging onto your skull, but keep lifting off the shoulder blades at the same time squeezing the block. Inhale, slowly release. Exhale, you lift. This time holding that exhale, wing the elbows open. Feel that extra demand on the core. If it becomes too much, remember you can drop your feet at any time. Think about your core as a web, everything drawing into center. Inhale, back to center and release. And again, exhale, you lift. Open the elbows. This time, exhale, continue the exhale, bring your right elbow across, keep lifting off your left shoulder blade. Lift through the pelvic floor, draw the ribs in. Three, two, one. Inhale, brings you back to center and release. Exhale, lift. Wing the elbows. Take that left elbow over, lift up off the right shoulder blade, feel your obliques firing. Draw your ribs in towards your, the midline of your body. Inhale, brings you back to center. Release, one more time, yogis, you've got this. Exhale, lift up. Wing the elbows, right elbow comes across. Lift up, draw up, length through the tailbone. Three, two, and one. Inhale, back to center. Release, I can definitely feel this. <laughs> Exhale, lift, open the elbows. Left elbow across, lift off that right shoulder blade. Squeeze the block. Three, two, 
and one. Inhale, slowly come down, release. Bring the block to the side of your mat. Take your hands behind your thighs and just take some rock and rolls, forwards and back, rounding through the spine. If this doesn't feel good, you can just come to one side until finally you're gonna come all the way up into all fours. So, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Couple of cat cows, inhale, arching the spine, stretching those abdominals. <laughs> They've definitely been working. And then exhale, round through the back, push the ground away, puff up throughout the whole of the back body. One more time, inhale, lift the heart space. And exhale, round through the back. And then one more, little warm up of the wrist. We're just gonna to start to take some little circles. As you inhale, bring the shoulders over the wrists and as you exhale, circle back. These circles can be as big or as small as feels right for you. And then we're gonna change direction. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, bring it back. Moving with your breath, mindful movement. Even though this class is dynamic, we can still be mindful with our movement. So this is the last one. Take it back. Coming back into all fours. And let's get ready to move. So from your downward facing dog, inhale, shift forward. If you want to, this right knee can come down. We're lifting into side plank. If you want to take it up a notch, then you can come into a full side plank. Lift through the side waist. This right hand dials out and you want to feel your scapula really stable on your back ribs. Now start to tree your legs and we're going to tap forward, tap behind. See if you can keep your body as still as possible. Remember that bottom knee can come down. Keep lifting through the side waist, tapping forward and back. Two more times, you've got this. Last one, awesome job. Bring it through plank, take it to the other side. Lift your right fingers high, find that plank, that tree plank, um, side plank, <laughs> my, my words are going. Tap forward, tap back, tap forward. So the trick is keeping your body as stable as you can, keeping that shoulder blade super suctioned onto the back ribs so your integrity of your shoulder is still there. We've got two more. And last one. Awesome. Bring it round, lowering all the way onto your belly. As you do this, keep your shoulder tips lifted. Drop the knees if you need to. Lowering for five, four, three, two, and one. We're doing something called locust swims now. So your arms are going to do this. They're going to draw back. They're going to come forward, elbows in, and then back. And we're going to lift up the lower and the upper body as we do that. So take a big breath in, glutes on, legs lift, upper body lift, reach the arms back, lift it forward, bring it back. Stay with your breath. Keep lifting, push down through the pubic bone, thinking of keeping that nice neutral pelvis. We've got five more. Four. You've got this, yogis. Neck nice and long, head back in space. Last two. And last one. Ah. Bring your head onto your hands. Take a breath. And then we're going to make our way back to plank. So tuck the toes, bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Can you do this without um, lifting into full plank? Or maybe lift onto your knees, if that is better. Through plank, take it back down dog. Bend the knees, take a little hop, and come to sit on your mat. So there are different options for this one. You can hold Navasana, boat pose. So you can either have your feet down, rolling the shoulders back, opening through the heart. See how my spine is nice and straight? Think about keeping that nice straight spine. If you want to, you can lean back on the sit bones, lifting up. You can bring the hands alongside you. So you can stay here if you want to, or exhale, pushing the lower back into the ground, low boat. Inhale, lift you up. We're gonna do 10. You've got this. Stay with your breath. Exhaling down, inhale, lift it up. Think about space through the collarbones as you lift up. Think about finding that length through your spine as you lift up. Five more. You've got this. Four, three, two, 
Last one. You're going to hold it at the bottom for five, for four, for three, for two. <sighs> Full permission to collapse. And we're going to take a breath. You probably like, I hate it when you say that, but let's have fun with it, modify as you need to. Coming into tabletop to start, we're going to tuck the toes. Think about having that nice neutral spine. So nose, your head's going back in space, sorry, forward in space, bring it back. Connect to the ribs, connect to the glutes, and then hover your knees. Now you can stay here, or you can kind of move your body like a little bit, um, like you're going around a clock. So keeping everything stable, lift the left leg back, bring the toes down. Lift the right leg back, stay with your breath. Lift the right arm forward, <laughs> trying not to move your body as much as you can. Lift the left arm forward. Let's do it again. Left leg comes back, squeeze that bum. Right leg goes back. How softly can you move your body? Right arm goes forward. Keep the ribs drawing in, keep this core strong, left arm goes forward. We've got one more, guys, you've got this. Left leg back, right leg back, right arm forward, left arm forward. Bring the knees down. I wish I could say this next one was easier, but it's not. You might want to grab two blocks. I'm going to run and get them. This just gives you a little bit more height. I am going to show you actually from the side view. These are called lalasana lifts. So lalasana pose, pendant pose, it's when you hang your body between your arms. We're not going to do the full expression, although if you could do practice lalasana, you're welcome to do the full expression. But we're going to work on our strength for it nonetheless. So this gives you a little bit of extra height. Bring your blocks alongside your legs and you're going to lift. So you're going to Grounding through the arms, arms nice and straight. Push into the blocks, lift the knees in towards your chest, lifting the hips up, tipping the weight forward. You're gonna feel this in your hip flexors, you're gonna feel it on your core. For five, push into the floor even more, pull the shoulder blades away from each other. Three, two, one. Okay, take a breath. We're gonna do the same thing again, but we're actually gonna lift our left heel in towards our butt, so our right um, foot stays down. Your toes can be tucked or untucked, depends how it feels in your body. Big breath in, exhale, push into the hands, lift up, left knee in towards you. Keep pushing down, lifting that left heel. Five, four, three, two, one. So people talk about the bandas in yoga. It's that lift of the pelvic floor, Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha, hugging that lower belly up and in. That is gonna help you here. It just helps you create more space in your body as well as pushing your arms away, pulling those shoulder blades away from your spine. That's gonna give you the lift as well. So we've got one more yogis. Coming onto our left foot now. Right foot comes in towards us. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let's lift. Right foot in towards you, push into the hands, holding here. Puff up in the back body, three, two, one. Okay, the blocks, you can throw them away if you want to, throw them at the screen, at me, or don't. And we're gonna come into our last one. This is called a camel hinge. Again, I'm gonna face away from you so you can see. So camel pose, we often think a lovely back bend, nice bend through the spine. This is not that. This is thinking about keeping a nice straight spine. So wrap those glutes down. Think about your neutral spine, that neutral S-curve. Lift through the crown of the head. Imagine someone's got a piece of thread and is lifting you up. You can, option one, is you exhale and come back in space and you're gonna hold it here. So come back as far as you can, but keeping that straight line. Don't open your heart space, ribs draw in. Option two, just to bring a little bit more demand onto the core, bring your arms over your head, bring your hands together, and then bend your elbows. So it's a little bit like you're doing pincher, but the wrong way around. So squeeze your, glute, your glutes, draw those glutes down, ribs draw in, nice long line of energy. Take it back for five, four, three, two, 
and one. Inhale, lift it up. Take a breath, release everything. And then find it again. Exhale, take it back. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift it up. One last time, yogis, you've got this. Big breath in. Exhale, find your core, take it back. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down and we're gonna find our way into child's pose. Okay, yogis, coming into all fours, wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, find your strength here, dial those hands out, set your shoulder blades on your back, have your head back in space, nice straight spine. As you exhale, reach your right leg back, left fingers forward, inhale, lift up. So this is a bird dog, like a Pilates move, and we're gonna mix it up a little bit. So take a breath in, exhale, open your knee and your elbow out to the side. Inhale brings you back, Exhale, opens it up. That's two, three, you've got this. Four, think about that pelvis staying nice and neutral. Use your glutes, use your core. Okay, three more. Three, two, one. Hold it here. Five, four, three, two, one. One, left hand comes down, right foot lifts, pulsing here like you're kicking the ceiling. 10, nine, don't let the movement come from your pelvis, the movement is coming from your glute. Five, four, three, two, one. Knee comes down, left foot reaches back, right fingers reach forward. Inhale, lift up, exhale, open. Moving between the two with as much stability as you can, feeling your glutes, feeling your core. Holding here, okay, halfway through, five, you've got this yogis, four, three, two, ribs draw in, last one, five, four, three, two, one, right hand comes down, left leg goes black, flex that foot, pulsing 10 from that glute, keep that spine nice and long, five, four, three, two, one, one, slowly bring the knee down, come onto your forearms, they can be parallel, your hands can be interlaced, actually no, sorry, they need to be parallel. So you can be on your knees if you want to, or you tuck your toes. Find strength, find stability, find that neutral spine, and then see if you can reach your left hand back, moving your body as little as you can. Hand comes down, right arm reaches back moving from side to side. If it's too much, you can tap your shoulder. Instead, your practice, your choice. Keep the ribs connected, keep the glutes connected. We're halfway there now. Two more on each side. You've got this. Stay with your breath. Stay with your strength. <laughs> Last one. And oh, drop the knees, walk the hands back towards your feet. Roll over the toes and come into a little squat. So, we'll get the heart rate up even more. We're gonna do some little bounces. If you don't wanna jump, that's absolutely fine. If you don't wanna jump, you're gonna come up, you're gonna lift on your toes, squeeze your bum, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your ribs even, hands come down, and then you're gonna take a little hop. So if you don't want to, you're just gonna stay in your yogi squat. So if you wanna have jumps all the way, Jump up your squats, jump into your little bunny hop. Okay, we're gonna do five more. You've got this, yogis. Lean into your hands, keep your glutes connected, keep those ribs in. Last two. And last one. <laughs> bring yourself down, bring the knees down, reach the arms forward. Take a breath, child's pose.
Okay, yogis, let's stretch it out. You're gonna stretch your right leg to about 45 degrees. Your left foot comes into the thigh. Bring your right arm to the inside of that leg, flexing that foot. Reach the left arm over, rolling that left shoulder open. Now, the point is not to grab your foot. I know loads of you have heard me say this before. But the point is to open that left shoulder, open through the left side body and really create space in the body. So holding here, staying with your breath, softening through your face. And then slowly, mindfully, inhale, come all the way up. Step your right foot over the top of your left thigh. If this doesn't feel good, you can straighten this left leg out in front of you. Right fingers behind you. Instead of coming into the usual kind of anchored twist, grab hold of the leg and hug it in, reaching through the crown of the head and then finding the twist. It's just a different way of doing it. It can feel really nice on the hips in particular. So thinking about that twist, inching up from the base of the spine all the way to the crown of the head. One more breath here. And then you're gonna take a little counter twist and release. And then let's switch it out and do the other side. <clears throat> so your left leg straightens, your right foot comes in, left arm comes down, reach that right arm all the way over, reaching through the fingers, flexing through that left foot, breathing space into your right side body, your right sit bone grounding into the earth, Stay with your breath. Last breath. And then next inhale brings you all the way up and let's switch it over. So your left foot crosses your right now, bringing the sole down, remembering that right leg can um, straighten out in front of you. Bring the left fingers behind you. Give that leg a lovely hug, reaching out through the crown of the head, gazing over the left shoulder. Three. Breathing for two. Last one. Little counter twist. And then you're slowly gonna turn to come down onto your mat. <clears throat> inch by inch. So, hug your knees in and give them a great big squeeze. Take a huge breath in. And as you exhale, bring the knees over to the right. Bring your gaze over to the left. Now I like to ground through my shoulders and if my knees don't touch the floor that's okay. Keep this concept of letting go on the exhale and just witness where your mind is, how your body feels after this dynamic practice. As you inhale, you're going to bring it all the way up through center. And as you exhale, let's take it to the other side. Keeping the shoulder grounded. Keeping the breath soft and steady. Now as thoughts come in, gently let them go. Give yourself this last few minutes to absorb and restore. And then as you inhale, come back up through center, hug your knees into your chest. You're gonna lift your head and every single muscle in your body is gonna engage for a count of three. So your face, your arms, your legs, your tummy, four, three, four, two, and one. Slowly, mindfully make your way into our final pose, Shavasana. Bring the feet mat distance apart, let them hang heavy. Bring your arms alongside your body Maybe bring them out a little bit further than you usually do. Let the fingers curl in naturally. Then gently nod the head down and lengthen through the back of the neck. Take a huge breath in. And then exhale, let it go through the mouth. And as you do, let go of all control on the breath. Simply be its witness. Different parts of your body move as you breathe. Each breath looks different. And we're gonna do a very quick little body scan. So from the tips of your toes through to the crown of your head, we're gonna release and let go. So bring your awareness now to your toes, to the soles of your feet, to your heels, and release, let go. Coming up through your shins, your calves, your knees, your thighs. Notice any sensations here, try not to dwell on them and then release into the mat. 
your pelvis, your belly, your heart space. Feel it rise on the inhale and melt back to your center on the exhale. Your shoulders down through each of your arms, through each of your fingers. Feel that tingling energy and then let it go. Your arms heavy into the mat. And then finally up through your neck. Pay attention to your jaw, let the tongue hang heavy. And then soften, soften the cheek, soften the eyes. Bring your focus to the third eye between your eyebrows and smooth out any wrinkles. Now bring your focus to the crown of your head. Feel your whole body melting into the mat. All tension release. And then when you're ready, if you're ready, start to wiggle the fingers and wiggle the toes. As you inhale, reach the arms over the head, reach the toes away from you. Take a big, big stretch, inhale. And then exhale, hug the knees in and give yourself a great big squeeze. You're going to roll over to the right side and you're going to take a moment, take a breath. Then when you're ready, you're gonna make your way up to a comfortable seat. If you can do with your eyes closed, then keep them closed. Bring your hands into prayer. Press your thumbs into your heart space. Grounding through the sit bones, you lift through the crown of your head. Let's end with a moment of gratitude. Gratitude for the strength in our bodies. Even if you found this practice really hard, with time, it becomes easier. Practice and all is coming. Thank you, yogis, for so much for joining me on the mat today. Let's end with one breath together. Inhale, and then let it go. See you on the mat again soon.